Welcome to the Marmina Cast. Sometimes we talk about fitness, but usually we just talk smack. I'm your host, Mr. Marmina, and let's get on with the show. Alright guys, welcome to Marmina Cast episode. I don't know what episode this is. Look how excited Brendan is to be on the show. It looks like we're talking into giant carrots. Um, Today with Brendan, one of my good mates, we're going to talk about fitness and stuff, probably going to talk about his comp, and uh, we will go from there, we'll get on all the tangents in the world, and yeah. Also, Brendan preaches a lot of the stuff I preach, and is a lot bigger, so if you haven't been listening to me, because I'm small, probably listen to him, because he's big and smart. Want to you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Brendan, and <laughs> I'm a biomedical scientist, I've been training for get around six it. years now, and yeah. Biomedical scientist. What was your degree like? Tell the five people who download this <laughs> what it was like going to do uh, your degree. Well, it was pretty tough at times. Um, uh, I don't know. What, what, like, <laughs> I don't know. It was I tough. learned some shit, man. I don't know. I you learned some, some shit. I learned some shit. Get around it. <laughs> All right. So me and Brennan used to train at a, like, well, it used to be a, it used to be like this, but a shed. smaller. Nah, it was a, a shed, <laughs> and then it was a, yeah. it was like a shed in a house, which I can't really knock because I did that for like a year. Yeah. I trained people out of there. Um, but we, yeah, we used to box together. I think BJ's like one of the only people to give me a blood lip. So, screw you. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then in the end, we we uh, we went from there, and we did resist like we did weights after that. Yeah. But then why'd you start at Nick's in the first place? What did you do boxing for? I actually don't know. Um, I started boxing because I was fairly overweight and... No. Well, I was a bit chubby. Too. Were you? Yeah. I don't remember. I, was, I, was I remember this like jacked bloke coming in thinking, nah, fuck. I was a fat cunt for a little bit. <laughs> and um, nah, so that was pretty much just to get fit for uh, sports, so... Oh, is that why you'd like for footy? footy and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, just sort of for that. Did you ever have any intention of like fighting? Nah, no real intention. Because I, I was a pussy. I and I think that if I fought, yeah. like, I would have been in trouble. There was a time, but I, I, I always... Because, uh, we, yeah, we I were. too big. I no. Been too big, some big boys. You, you'd have to cut down. Yeah. You would have to fight, like, Samoans. Yeah, exactly. And you would have been... Like, mm, fuck that. You would have been in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we stopped... How long did you box for in the end? Uh, roughly two years. When we stopped, why did you... Why did why did you go to resistance training? Did you realize you were massive and thought I'm gonna get massiver? Uh, to be honest, because everyone used to just comment on my big quads, and uh, I was like, "Fuck it, no, I'll just go do some weight training." Really? Nah, it's it's actually because I think you wanted to ch- 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 to change over. Because he was closing, poor bugger. Yeah, you know, you, you know what I heard. Shit. You know what I heard now what? that he opened up a new one, yeah, and saying. the bloody sh- council shut him down. Yeah. Yep. Did you? Did that? Yeah. Did, I've, Heard that as well. There's a few, few people. I Jesus know Christ. And it's like a youth club. Yeah. Like it's like for like youth. Yeah. Ridiculous. Like Gov- <laughs> government conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping fun. all this in. It's fucking that close. It's fun. Nah, it's good. Do you want to be like, <laughs> kissing it? It's weird. Um, where's my questions? I'll put this here because I won't actually talk in the mic if I don't have it. <laughs> this is the biggest lost episode ever. Um, what? All right. This would be good. This would be good, right? I hope it will be good anyway. It might not be. Um, so what? So you wanted to change resistance training because you... I wanted to get bigger. Yeah. I thought like I had the right shape you did. to do it. So and you were very I responded yeah. hyperly. Yeah. You know, you just looked so, at weights and blew up. Like yeah. I looked at weights and got a little bit bigger. Little it was, bigger. It was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I think, I think we both started... You started at what, what weight? Like 60 kilos, 70 kilos? Yeah, around 70 kilos. I yeah. On like fucking, I went on a severe fucking bulk. The bulk. Crazy. Can you please talk about the bulk? The bulk. Please, take so, everyone through the buck, the bulk. <laughs> uh, well, when I was about 18, fucking about three years into training, um, I was just like, fuck it, I'm just going to big. Chucked on like 20 kilo. <clears throat> I was about 110 kilos at 18 years old. Fat ass. Big what? Yeah. Were you 110 at that I time? I remember actually. 110. Five. Everyone was like, what is he doing? And I was yeah. like, Maccas. Yeah. I remember and, Maccas um, was the secret. And then I cut back and that was almost when I did my pre-comp prep. And, um, Did you? You didn't bulk the whole time. I was on a bulk for fucking. Really? Time, didn't you yeah. like a little mini? Nah. Uh, what you did was. Yeah. Oh well. When I was eighteen, I did like a three months cut bef- before I uh, did my comp prep, and um, dropped down to around ninety, I think. Yeah. 
or maybe a little bit more, and then that's when I picked up the comp with you. Yeah, right. From there. What did you? What weight did you step on stage? Uh, I was about eighty-four. Kilo. And what that? We actually. Yeah. Yep. What um, what uh, how how long do we prep for then? So if you if you did that diet, like your your sort of. You almost like did it and you found out you were lean enough and thought, yeah, I'm just going to do just it. have a crack, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, what's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's good. It's probably what, that's what I reckon you should do. Like, yeah. you shouldn't have like a timeline yeah. for it. Like, if you're lean enough, yeah. you might as well just do it. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? It was, uh, Instead of stressing. Something I was always thinking about doing and then when I got cut, I was like, there's no big as well. fucking looking at other people that were doing c- c- comps. I'm like, I might be able to knock these people off. I was like, fuck it. I'll have a crack. Why not? Yeah. And you did well. Yeah. Did all right. That's good. Do you want to actually talk? Do you want to talk about your experience? Oh yeah. Well, for people honest, that like, want to do a comp, because it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Like it's not yeah, all going to nah. be like get shredded and yeah. that's it. No. Nah, well, I mean? in my opinion, I would not recommend doing a comp if you are a social person. Um, <laughs> if you don't, because you won't any, have much of a social oh, life. Fuck, mate. Like I spent three months. I didn't leave the house. I remember. Spent every single yeah. day thinking about where my next meal would. B, it was just, uh, it was shit out. So. It's shit. Yeah. I didn't but fucking touch my cock for probably about. <laughs> the the reality the realities I of comp prep. Just had no energy. I was just, nah. <laughs> it's just, and honestly, in the end, in my personal experience, it wasn't was worth even, it. It wasn't worth it. And look, that's just like the realities of it. Like, yeah. so many people, like, it was an amazing experience and I got really lean and it was so self fulfilling. Like, and that's great that <laughs> someone can do that. But at the end of the day, like, if you had a bad experience, It'll put you off. Yeah, yeah that's it. You exactly, know what I mean? Yeah. Would you, you wouldn't do it again, would you? Uh, no, I don't think I not would. At this, not at this stage. In. I'm just too much of a social p- p- person now. Yeah, I like care, you can't I go care. out. You can't have a beer with the boys. Yeah, it's, you just can't. Yeah, that's exactly. it. For how long How long do we... How long were we like real strict? Probably three months. I was real strict. I didn't... Yeah, because you have... Like, you, you can still have a drink or whatever... But yeah. if you want to, you want to play swell and get lean enough. Like all these, if it, if it fits your macros, like pretend science guys are out there, like you can still flexibly diet yeah. and lose weight. And it's like, yeah, you can, you can. But to what point does that flexible diet? What what is that? When is it still flexible? Do you uh, know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Well, to be honest, like it wasn't that flexible in the end. I ended up not doing that because I would rather eat. Like Did if we, you think about it, one beer is fucking one hundred and twenty calories. For yeah, a fucking a beer, like s- small beer. To me, that was eating like an extra piece of fucking toast. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, you know, you could have eaten it exactly right. Like, uh, yeah, and you can do that. And then, like, obviously under the influence of alcohol, and it can be for anything. Like, you can even have, like, remember our binge, our binge trigger was like pizza. Yeah, yeah. And it was like a full on, it was like unstoppable. <laughs> it was just like this unstoppable, unstoppable. eating. Yeah. It yeah. was incredible. I, I actually, I don't do that anymore. I don't have the urge to do that anymore. No. I think because we were young and we were. What are we doing like we're probably starving ourselves and yeah. being a bit stupid. Exactly. Like I think you had the size too, I probably didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we had that like one day a week where we just fucking And I reckon that was one of the smashed. most unhealthiest things, but yeah. You know what I mean? It was bad. Especially like for a 17, 18 year old. Like that's yeah. real, stupid. real stupid. Actually, you were probably how old are you? Oh uh, well I started weight training when I was fifteen, so I I reckon when seventeen we were, Doing that, I would have been maybe even sixteen because I was I was eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. No, I would maybe I was seventeen too because I wasn't doing any of that in year twelve. Maybe I was only fifteen then. I don't know. How I reckon year eleven, I reckon year ten or eleven. Yeah, that's when. How like for me, that means you would have been like year eight. No, you would have been year eight. I've been year nine, nine, year ten. Yeah, year nine. Yeah. See, like for that age, that's crazy, man. You know what I mean? So comp prep is not for everyone. No, it's uh, you have to. I don't know. Have a strict mind. You can't really ha- have much other commitments. Uh, it's pretty much your whole entire life. That's it. There's very much. To, to, to be honest, if you're not a prof- professional, it's just not not worth, worth it. it. No, Cause yeah. And then even if you are, paid, you're not getting any you're not going to get paid anyway. Like yeah. bodybuilding, like there's not much money in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you do it for the money, like you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Like you do it because you want to see like self progression and exactly and where you can get next time yeah. and stuff. But if you had a pretty terrible experience, that, but a lot of a lot of, like you're always gonna have terrible experiences and stuff doing anything. But if it's enough to like put you off, yeah. You know what I mean? What yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. On my shit beard. <laughs> Look at my mustache, man. Oh, it's, it's the filthiest shit. It's disgusting. No, it's worse than Joe Danaher. <laughs> 
Oh, Jesus. Now I'm doing it for a good cause. By the time this goes up, I'll probably have finished November, but check it. It's pretty shit. I reckon it's you could good. have done better. Huh? I reckon you could have done better. What? You're How can I do better? Because it's thin and shit and patchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's good, man. Get a close up on it. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> oh, edit it. Oh, my, oh, my head looks so red and sweaty and shit with the mustache. <laughs> Look, I got a porn star. Yeah. Like one of those real shit porn stars. Yeah, that's it. All of them. What? All of them. What do we got? What questions do we... How unprofessional looking at the questions. <laughs> no, who cares? Uh, oh, you know what? You know what I want to talk about? When we're like... What's in my eye? Oh, is it good? Shit, isn't it? <laughs> Pink eye. <laughs> what wet um, were some of the best gains you had and when, like, how did you do it? You know what I mean? Because there was a stage where, like we were saying, you, you blew up. I blew up uh, probably after my comp because... Oh, really? Is that when the best... Yeah. When I was uh, doing my comp, we, uh, my trainers were you and one other person and he fucked up my training real fucking bad. So I, I probably shouldn't say it on a podcast, but it was pretty bad and I reckon I lost a fair bit of muscle from that and then afterwards I fixed it up, started training c- 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 correctly and, uh, and like, I didn't train you when you trained correctly. Nah, like, you went off, went and off we so it's just things that we sort of discussed, like yeah. some 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 principles yeah. that we put in place yeah. in your off season yeah. so that you could progress. Yeah, and, and I, you just stuck to it. Yeah, I honestly reckon I put on probably maybe ten kilo of like clean mass. And it was, I reckon you gained size back too. Yeah, like I don't think that like it was just like you wouldn't have gained ten kilos in a year. I think that was the size that you yeah. lost potentially. Just from that, because yeah. there's no way that you were you were 110 kilos. Like you weren't like fat, 110 kilos. I was pretty fat. And yeah, but you, you're not fat. you're not going to lose. You're not going to go to 84 from 110. Like that's close to yeah. That's a lot that's of weight. That's close to 30 kilos, like of weight lost. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's fucking lot. So yeah, it just goes to show you like the importance of like maintaining strength and volume even in the even, even when you're doing cutting, yeah, like exactly. for a show. Because yeah. of course, like you need to give your muscles a reason to hold on without getting too much into like the science and that. Yeah. And the principles of exercise prescription. Like think about it. If you're not doing enough, and if, 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 you're, if you're changing, like that's what I mean when there's no like cutting program, there's no massing program, or like I said, the, or the last episode, a couple of episodes ago, or maybe the one before this, depends when I upload them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said that there would probably be a massing program more so than there would be a cutting program. Yeah. Because a cutting program like really is just like to maintain as much muscle as you can. Yeah, exactly. Like, really. And yeah, you can put, you can implement some things to make the cut and the maintenance of strength and volume a little bit more productive. But yeah. at, the, at, the, at the end of the day, like, it really is just about maintaining as much muscle as you can in the form of volume with reference to your program. Yeah, that's it. So doing certain things that would have limited the amount of strength that could, you could have maintained yeah. would have been a detriment to your on-stage appearance, in my opinion. And arguably, would you say so? Like, yeah, it's would, you. You're you. Uh, my training was fucking shit out from my prep, so... It was just like a bit all over the shop. He was like trying to train areas that he thought I, which lacked, is still which a good, is still that's good, good enough. But to be honest, I'm not going to put on any muscle while I'm eating fucking nothing. So. Well, you, you like you can like these evidence to say suggest that you can, but I didn't notice it. Nah, <laughs> like for for someone who's intermediate at that time, like you gained enough muscle, and I think in a calorie deficit, like yeah. gaining muscle in a calorie deficit, that's possible. Like you can gain muscle in a calorie deficit. Mm. Provided you're a beginner or you're just returning to resistance yeah. training. Yeah. And then maybe you can gain muscle in a calorie deficit. But for the most part, like, it's pretty unlikely. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And then from that comp, I went back to just the straight up fucking push pull legs. Did a push pull legs. Kind of split, and just tried to increase weight oh, sort of every second or so week. So not every week. No. Every no, because by that, by that time, like, you're lifting a lot. Yeah. So how much can you, like, really progress? to like where you were at like is there a law of diminishing returns like you can't just keep progressing 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 and yeah. then like how if I could keep progressing every week I'd be squatting a ton by now I'd be Superman yeah he's, you know I'd be shooting yeah, lasers exactly out my right. eyes yeah, and shit. Yeah. but I also uh, had increased what I was eating heaps so I had tons of energy yeah I was on the comp felt good back and I felt fucking excellent like probably yeah. the most energy I'd really like ever time. yeah just I've heard that too from a lot of people. Even when I finish like a recreational diet to get lean, like I don't get stage lean because yeah. what a waste of life that yeah. would be. But 
I do notice like when I start adding food again, I'm like, oh, like I feel a lot better. Yeah. You know, and that's not to that's not to say that like I restrict myself a lot. You know what I mean? Even on a diet. Yeah. You know, like I can still diet, look sort of lean, and be like, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. You know, because I'm at the good enough stage now. Yeah. Sort of comes to the point where I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, same. So yeah, yeah. yeah. which like is that. yeah, what we were saying too when we were training together, Brendan and I were saying like, we used to train a lot harder when we first started. Yeah. And I don't know whether now it's because we're a bit older in training and we understand a few things or whether it's because we're literally just lazy. I honestly reckon it's because we're more interested in our careers. And yeah. Things, and this like, is this is good to say. Yeah. To me, you know? like, tr- 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 training is just an outlet now. I don't really yeah. see it as, as like something I try tr- and tr- tr- improve on. Um, maybe when I'm like setting a career, I'll be able to like, care about it more, but... It's like, I feel like it's harder to set things up. Like, it's harder to set this place up than it was to, like, work in this place. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the same thing, like, looking for work and stuff's harder than actually being at work. Yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. People are going to be like, this is not work. Like, you don't film podcasts and call it work. And I'm like, <laughs> it's work. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's not work. It's fun. But yeah. personal training is fun. Like, I would be lying if I said, like, I didn't enjoy, like, every day. And, oh, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, you know, again, not all sunshine and rainbows. Like, setting this place up almost drove me mad. Yeah, yeah. But still. It's good. This was awkward. Maybe so, this would be better. For like a question for you. Uh, Me? Yeah, for you. Uh, Holy shit. Has being a personal trainer kind of made you on the spot, not want to train as much as you used to? Or no, you I, want, I didn't want to like I, I did train when I wasn't <laughs> a personal <laughs> trainer. I only train now, like you, like you said, and another, like, you know, for the same reasons you said. But another reason too is because I think to myself, like, if I don't, if I don't train, like... This is how awkward. I keep adjusting. <laughs> you fucking around with it. Just leave yeah. it <laughs> I, like, like I, 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 I train because like imagine training for how long have we been training now? What do you reckon? What's all, what year did you, you know the year because I forget. I'm retarded. Uh, probably about six years we've been doing. All right. Training. Six years and I'm still tiny. But, <laughs> but like six years. So train for six years, right? And then I stop training. What a waste of six yeah, years. Exactly. If you wouldn't just still train. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to fucking maintain it. Just yeah, really just, fun. just, just maintain, you still grow, like, it's pretty impossible to, like, lift yeah. weights and not progress, like, we always, I always still train with progression in mind, I just don't train with, like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't stress myself out about training as much, Yeah, you know what I mean, like, I've got other things really, on my yeah. mind, yeah, exactly, you know? right. and that's, that's life, that's, the, like, what we said, like, life value, <laughs> yeah, like, you said that this year was probably, like, the worst year for you, oh, fuck yeah, because you're yeah, third year uni, like, you're looking for a job, finishing up uni, trying to get into a career, it's stressful, yeah, and like, like I haven't been a, p- a person to like miss training. I've always trained. But yeah, do you still miss it or not? And probably this has been the only, like, probably in the last six months I've actually missed a few. Do you actually training. miss sessions? Oh, See, I didn't. I didn't miss. Oh, only like the occasional. Like, but I make them up too. Do you make them up? Yeah, I make them up. Yeah, you make them up. But like, you don't. But that was good because I did that. Like, I have even now. Like, I have a very flexible plan. Yeah. Like, if I miss a session, I just train Saturday or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't train on the weekend because. For the that's boys. that's for the boys. <laughs> it's so true. The boys. <laughs> it is like I don't want to like I don't want to like be frigging sorry. I used to do that, and I think you went through that stage. What train Saturdays? What, yeah. Um, yeah. No. Did I'm you still train? Saturdays. But no, are you still train Saturday for the pump? I'm lazy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> no, I would. Why not do that? I'm gonna do like a full bro sesh. Come in, just like curls, yeah, no push shit. downs, like lateral raises, yeah, and just do a circuit. Yeah. For. Cardio. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's functional. Yeah. I'm going to do like TRX row and uh, BOSU ball push-ups. <laughs> no, nah, actually, I do like them for certain clients and stuff. Yeah. They're all right. No. Nah. But like, no. Nah. That's fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> what? Oh, no, that's good, 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 good. Gonna all right. Gonna How many questions do we, do we have? Oh, this is fucking awkward. Awkward as shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Kiss the duck. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you made a lot of gains, what's kept you so consistent? Consistent? Yeah. Like that time when you were just smashing it into the ground. <sighs> like after the prep, were you just like, I'm going to kill it? I remember you were telling me like, you want to go back on stage and smash it. But then you oh, must have... What kept me going? Fucking hell. Um, Madness. I don't know. Madness fucking... Uh, Really, you don't know. You just liked it. It's like fucking in built into me. Like it's you just like it. Yeah, you just keep doing it, and it's the same with like your career and and yeah, it was just easy. All right, that's a good answer. I had no pain. I don't know. I just fucking just kept going. Yeah, but that's good though. But that's how it should be. Yeah, 
I'm fixing it again. You, you just got to leave that shit alone. Why? <laughs> it's close. It's not. It probably sounds the same. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on. It's the first time we're using them. Yeah. We should have practiced a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we get? I'm going to leave this all in because it's a pizza. Yeah. What do we... Oh, fuck. Yeah, how about... How about... Oh, you know what I really want to ask you? Because you and I have very similar... And I'm only asking you because we think the same. So that we won't disagree. <laughs> so everyone thinks <laughs> I'm very intelligent. No, no, no. So if you disagree, disagree. But how consistently... Get away, fly. How consistently do you do a program? And how consistently do you change it up to confuse muscles? To be honest, I, I don't... Do any of that shit. I've... I've uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do any of that shit. I've uh, been on this same program since I finished my comp in... I mean, is it the same? No. It it's can't be like the similar. exact same. Oh, no, it's not the exact no, 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 same. No, 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 but it's there similar. Of variations. Do you ever confuse muscles? Yeah my, yeah, my muscles are fucking com- confused. Confused is like lost <laughs> as walking like, around around. Bro, what are you doing? Um, no, I don't do that. I, 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 <laughs> what would you call confusing a muscle? Like, would you call it ch- 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 changing a exercise from eight reps to six reps to fucking a million <laughs> reps to 20 just confuses reps. Oh, it just confuses me yeah and that, like the only time change in a program is good is if it makes sense with reference to like your desired outcome yeah and confusing muscles is not a good reason because muscles don't get fucking confused no they don't get like confused. to get confused you need a brain and yeah. muscles don't have <laughs> brains like no, they flex and they contract and relax. And that's, and that's, that's about it. Do, yeah. They contract and relax. They do a bunch of other stuff. But they contract and relax. That's about it. Yeah. Correct. You know? What yeah. else? The heck can they get confused about brains? <laughs> the only thing you confuse is yourself. You have to keep like relearning a new motor skill and training different muscles. And yeah. Not training different muscles because there's so much overlap with a bunch of exercises. But like you're always going to have to keep relearning skills. And every time you go to relearn a new skill, you have to like progress the exercise again. And that, become, that, can, that can be fine if your training is monotonous and you've plateaued on an exercise. Like you might do a flat barbell bench press. And you just can't do any more, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you might just go to incline barbell bench press for a while. Yeah. You know, whether or not that's a weak muscle, like, yeah. it, it, whatever. It's yeah. more to do with, like, the nervous system and the fact you've given the other, the other movement a break and then you can go back to that movement and hopefully you've yeah. done it better. That's it. To be honest, like, I think the only thing about confusing a muscle that actually has some, like, evidence is the fact that you personally might think that you are You perceive by yourself. Different, but... You, you're, you're actually only just training harder than you normally would because... Because it's a new movement. It's a new thing. It's something different. You get to learn it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can progress it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you might be you might be totally plateaued on the bench press. You can't do it. And you think, you know what? I'm going to do like a decline or incline. Yeah. And then you can go up two and a half, five kilos every yeah. week. And then you're going to plateau on that again. But then you get a chance to progress the bench press again. Because yeah. then that law of diminishing returns. And like, how much can you really progress? Yeah, exactly. Like I said, like, if I never got injured or I never... Or I just never plateaued on exercises, like, whether it be like periphery per- peripherally or centrally due yeah. to fatigue and stuff like that. Like I'd be Superman. Yeah. We all would be. Correct. Like we would just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. We'd all be the friggin' like imagine imagine yeah. if we just get, get keep getting bigger. Yeah. And there's you know a mean? point where you physically can't get any sh- stronger than what you are. Because I got to a point where I was squatting probably two hundred and ten ki- kilo, right? And Which is very small it's a, squats. It's a, no, it's, a small, it's a small squat. Um <laughs> And in the end, my uh, knees just couldn't t- t- take it anymore. And, oh, but and you know what I reckon, out. though? Like, did you use knee wraps and that in the end? Uh, well, because they were in, like, the pain, I... Yeah. You're already yeah. in pain. Yeah. Well, no, not now. But when you were squatting that much? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It c- could have been, in, like, an old fucking... Could have been, like, a, just been, like, or the accumulate... Oh! Yeah. Who knows? Nah, I reckon... That could have been a programming thing, because how often were you squatting 210 kilos? Oh, once every three weeks. Three oh, weeks. that's all right. Once every three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, and you'd work. So, what would you do then? Like, what would what would you lead up? Like, how would you program that? Oh, well. Once every three weeks, you'd squat 210. Yeah, well, like, I was doing pyramid uh, sets for that. So, I would be like, a big. Yeah. I would uh, start off on, like, like, I don't know, 120 kilo for eight and then go up to, like, one. Yeah, so you wouldn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a good way to do it because, like, imagine if you're doing, like, four sets of... What were you doing? Triples at 210. No, I was only getting out one rep. One or two <laughs> reps. I wasn't getting three. Fuck. Still. I tried to get three reps, but the, I only got two, 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 two out. And the technique was nice and everything. Yeah. I wish you could see it. Yeah. But still, I mean, Not it's hard to know. Yeah. 
you know. Um, and then, but once every three weeks, like that's it. Yeah, that was it. And you still copped it. Yeah, that happens. Still you do. It. Like you just accumulate, like just the accumulation of stress and stuff. Could have been a technique flaw somewhere. Could have been, been something. Could have been like a. I don't want to say dysfunction, like biomechanically, but I will for lack of a better term. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate the word dysfunction. Fucking the word dysfunction is terrible. Dysfunctional. It doesn't make sense. Like yeah. everyone presents dysfunctions and anomalies like all the time. Yeah, exactly. Like you have like the very rounded yeah, posture. Just, like are I'll you dead? No. I'll no. Oh, clearly not. You're on a. You're on the world's greatest podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless. Shameless. What do we got? Okay. So, your program looks like the same at the moment then? Yeah. The exact same? Uh, no. It's, what have you changed? It changes every now and then. Like like every couple of months? Yeah, like a little bit. There'll be times when I'll do uh, barbell or I'll do dumbbell. It's not the fucking... What? <laughs> it's not a big change. It's what a, a change! It's just, it's just minor things. It's the same... Movement, but in a fucking in a different, different way. Different way to yeah. facilitate long-term progress. Yeah, yeah. Because if you simple you, changes, I'm not fucking changing it from a bench press to a fucking standing. I don't know, wall jump or something. It's not like a, a wall jump. I don't fucking know. It's not. You're gonna shock like those muscles, man. <laughs> yeah. Bench Jesus, press, man. Oh my god. Nah, it's not. It's not that kind of shit. But was so What do you? What is it? What does it look like now? Like break it down. Because you know what people what are going to do. What am actually doing? Huh? What am I actually doing? Yeah, you know what people are going to do. They're going to think he's big. I'm just going to do exactly the same. Doing. All right, well, so Monday, push day. For the boys. The uh, most <laughs> imp- <laughs> <laughs> For the boys. For the boys. Nah, it's, it's pretty much just simple. Like, I'll s- s- start with uh, bench press, do fucking pyramid set. I'll do like eight, six, three, six, eight. Oh, and so you do another set of, after you've done yeah. three, you do another set of. Yeah. I'm going to do six and I'll do eight. So I like I pyramid up and back down. Yeah, up. that's yeah. good. And those are, that, I like that. Because yeah. you, you augment, you increase volume. Like yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of volume in there. Exactly. But you still can get stronger yeah. because you do little reps. And after that, I'll do like a military press, same thing, up and back down in a pyramid set. Oh, you even do that too. And that's not too yeah. stressful on the joints and no. that's all right. No, 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 that's no, pretty good. Because that could have been how, how, how much like heavy knee flexion were you doing? Like just squats? You weren't uh, doing that shit with like split squats. Nah, just squats shit. Was that would have been. I was doing. That would have been fucking terrible. To be honest, just, looking back, I think I might have been squatting a bit too deep, and it would have been putting too much pressure. Yeah, on Yeah, deep for you. Like uh, you don't have to squat that deep because yeah. you're not a powerlifter, and who cares? So I think that's what. Do you reckon? I've done it in the end, yeah. Really? Because you always had like good knee flexion and like ankle yeah. mobility, and yeah, but I reckon I was pushing it a bit too far in the end. Were you going like? Were you getting? Oh, it's hard because I wasn't there. Your knees, everything was, like, it just looked sound. Every, no one said it looked like crap. No, no one said it looked, looked like shit. It just fucking... Just in the end, just, it hurt. Too much, too much, I don't know. It's just too much? Yeah, too much for my body. Right. Because, <laughs> you know, like, even, like, powerlifters aren't that strong all the time. Like, they don't just hang around and squat, like, their max yeah, all the no, time. Exactly. It's impossible. Yeah. Adjust, adjust. <laughs> I'm going to keep these things. It's funny. It's Look. fucking fucked. It's cool. What's wrong with it? That's, I like this thing. It's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> what um? So what what else you do? So then you do push. Oh uh, yeah, the next go uh, push. Go then push. After that, I'll do uh, just like isolation things. So like yep. Oh, so you have, you do so you do a, a a horizontal push and then a vertical push. Yeah. And then you don't do. That's need, it. Yeah, that's it. I don't need you don't do any other like you wouldn't do like an incline dumbbell nope. press on that nope. same day. Holy shit! And you're that big. That's, that's absolutely it. incredible. Yeah. And then after that, I'll just do like isolation things. So I'll do a. Superset of fucking superset. Uh, fucking uh, chest c- 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 cables and all, and with the fucking chest push up thing, and then oh, uh, so you superset like the cable fly, yeah, with, with a cable press, yeah, no c- 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 cable push up. So like you get the cables and you can come down and you push up with the c- c- cables on still. Holy shit, Have that's pretty functional. That? Yeah, that's functional as fuck. That's a very functional exercise. Yeah, and then uh, I'll do. Isolations for shoulders, so where'd you, see again. Hang on, where'd you see that one? Me, yeah, M- made it up. Do you just that's cool, yeah, just made it up, just fucking mate, yeah. you know, you should just be a personal trainer, just be a personal trainer. Why not? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and then there's like shoulder isolations, so side. Brazers, <laughs> fucking wings and shit. That's how I demonstrate my exercises. <laughs> yeah. No matter what exercise it is, like, we're gonna do squats. 
<laughs> yeah, just just do that with my arms. <laughs> yeah, so I was super there. Uh, side raises with uh, shrugs. And that's it. Four sets of eight with each on each one. Really? Yeah. That's and a push then, day. Yep. Yeah, that's and not what I expected. Finish down with, uh, finish up with uh, the most triceps, important and that's, part. And that's, and that's triceps. It. Yeah. Um, well, all right. What, what did you do next? Push, pull, pull. So I just went through that here. I went and I, I did. Sit in your room for about an hour and. I just pull. pull on it all day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I do pull-ups. So this was a good yeah, I like what you were doing. I do uh, pyramids with pull-ups as well. So I go to 12, 8, 6, but increase the weight that I'm hanging off me. Yeah. And then I'll do uh, bend over rows. Um, then I'll do rear delts. I don't know. You want me to what a what on? a simple and I know, it's, you know why it's I got really you. To, you know why I got you to do it because I knew you'd be like, how simple? Like it's what? This simple, boring. Man. It's as simple as fucking it's split. That shit, boring, simple split. Yeah. Like you know, not in a bad way, but it should be like exercise yeah. is monotonous. You know what I mean? Like how can you can how can you expect to progress? Yeah. Without that monotony, otherwise, like we just yeah. doing a bunch of crazy shit that makes no sense, and if yeah. it doesn't make any sense, like. You know, like, think about it. Like, if a book doesn't make any sense, it doesn't read well. Yeah. It's the same as an exercise program. Like, if it doesn't make any sense, yeah. like, very, very unlikely you're going to progress. Exactly. You know what I mean? And to, like, answer all the typical questions, I only train for an hour. I don't take any supplements. I only just, you know, supplement protein to... Protein is steroids, man. Protein is... It's, yeah. I'm not natty. <laughs> yeah. Protein is the good shit. Um, I'm on steroids. I'm on creatine. <laughs> But no, I don't take any special fucking supplements. This is good because... Basic I, shit. Every day of my life, every day, without fail, I'll get... What do you think of this? And it's like the worst yeah, supplement oh, of all time. Oh, and it's like literally, like I'll, I'll look at it. And if you, ever, if you ever need any supplement like advice and that, you go to examine.com. Yeah. Have you ever heard of examine.com? No, examine, yeah. Brilliant. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And um, they, they just... They break down... They have a human effect matrix for the effect of every supplement on every exercise. And it's not in like animal studies. It's always, they always reference like human, yeah, human right. studies. And, um, and, and it's just, it's just fantastic. So one time I got this supplement off, or someone come in and they were like, what do you reckon of this? And I was like, oh, I'll have a look. Yeah. And I had a look and on, 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 um, on the supplement, you know what it was, right? It was the, the natural, natural equivalent of, of clenbuterol. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. natty equivalent, yeah. right? I was like, oh yeah. And, and, um, Oh my god, this supplement, you know what it did? It did one thing. It sort of, with reference to what they said in the examine, which, which is what they just, they just referenced like science, it, or, it, it sort of increased blood flow. A little bit. That's gonna, no, I swear to god. And they were claiming it was like this full fat burning, like miracle drug. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm real passionate about uh, believing that yeah, no. supplements are our fucking bullshit. Um, you don't need to buy any of that crap. You don't, yeah. you don't need any of that shit. Some supplements do like augment an effect. Some. Some. A very little one. Yeah. A enough to make me but care. the amount that you're paying. Nah, you the amount that you're you paying. You don't need that shit. Like, nah. Fucking just train, train hard, eat. eat, eat a lot of the time, people that consume or that buy into a lot of supplements don't really... Like, don't yet understand, like, how to eat or how to train. Mm. Or they'll write some crazy program and do it for a week and go, nah, I didn't like it, I'll do another one. And then they'll go buy some weird supplement that costs, like, $400, $500. Yeah. You know what I mean? When they could have spent it on a personal training program but from a professional. Yeah. And not just, like, someone on Instagram. <laughs> you know, don't just buy those whack programs. Like, As in a program to... by this one. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my tooth. <laughs> oh, no, but, like... But like you know what I mean? Like there are a lot of really good personal trainers even on the Mornington Peninsula and like around. Yeah. You can just consult and ask for advice. Yeah. You know, you don't have to like I've I actually moved this with my tooth. You know what? Probably hasn't even moved. I probably keep moving it myself. You're just fucking around with it. I am, aren't I? No, but like, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to <laughs> You should just seriously just get people nah. to fucking hold the mics. Nah, well like what are you a wrestling yeah. promo? Yeah. Nah, nah, this is good. Can you smell a ah, what the rock? <laughs> People must drive past. I've got the garage open. They must be thinking, what are they doing? Yeah. That's good. But you know what I mean? Like, you, you want to you wanna get... You wouldn't go, right, to a, to a restaurant yeah. and ask for medical advice. Yeah. You go to a GP. Yeah. You know? Same, if you want a personal training program, you should probably come to a PT. Mm. I'm not knocking online training because I, I do it. Like, I, I trained a lady who was pregnant yeah. up until, like, pretty much now because she's about to give birth and... Her, you know, it goes it goes beyond my scope now. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can you stop adjusting no, it? I You're just, telling me not to adjust it. 
Good that's stuff. a smart idea. No, I'm going to leave it because I'll keep touching it. <laughs> that's probably good. Yeah. Anyway, that's that little rant. Yeah. What else? Do you have anything to say about that? <laughs> about that? About the, what, training practice? Uh, yeah, like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm retarded. No, I'm going to leave that in because it's hilarious. But, do you know what I mean? About what? Training? I'm training. waffling hard Yeah, now. fuck yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's waffling. <laughs> I've no. lost what you're talking about. I've lost it. You know what I'm talking about? Pregnant people. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that? That's annoying. Nah, let it ring. Let it ring. Will it still record? Let's hope so. If it doesn't, that will record, and I don't care about that. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Anyway. Um. I, how do you write? Nah, because you sort of. Well, how do you write a program then? Me. Yeah. <sighs> For you myself, or... Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, you've got a couple... There's a couple people I would, like, help out. Help no, out. I'm not a personal trainer, but I think I know enough. Yeah, oh, I would, under, hopefully, with a yeah. biomedical degree. Yeah. Um, no, well, for myself, I... I don't really ch- change it much. I just keep fucking basic as. Basic yeah. as. It's just always worked f- for me. I've gotten bigger all the time. Keep it to the... S- Simple three big lifts and that's it, and then just oh, bon- work around it. Oh my god, I was gonna say bunch, <laughs> bench, squat, and deadlift. Yeah, and you just and then you do like modifications and then like a Romanian deadlift. Yeah, split and squat, work it around, leg press. Yeah, and just keep it really simple. It's really simple, like it's so simple. It's yeah. so simple, like it's frustrating. Like you were getting frustrated talking about how simple the program yeah, was. Yeah, exactly. I you know what I mean, like it shouldn't be that. You know, I think that if I was gonna, um, like. You either do a full body, like the less you train, like like let's say you train twice a week, you probably do a full body. Yeah. You know, you're not going to do yeah, an upper, yeah. you're not going to yeah. do upper body and then lower body. No. If you, you train twice a week. What a waste time. of yeah, time. exactly. Right? If you do three days a week, you still do a full body or you could do an upper, lower, upper or lower, upper, lower. Yeah. You could just keep like cycling through that. It's yeah. very, very, very flexible. Exactly. Do four days a week, upper, lower, rest, upper, lower. Yeah. If you do any more than that, you can still do an upper, lower five or six days a week if you're mad. Well, mm-hmm. I used to do that. I didn't make, you know, I reckon I made more gains with less frequency. Because yeah, right. I was able to do more volume on a push-pull legs yeah. than I was able to do on an upper-lower. And you know, it's real funny. Like, I discovered this push-pull leg secret, mm-hmm. like, in 2010, 2011, yeah. maybe 2010, actually. And, and, and it still stuck with me, yeah. and I still do it. It's the best. It just makes more sense than anything else. I tried to do full bodies every day. You know how that went? Fuck that. That was retarded. No, that's retarded. I, I tried to make it make sense. It just didn't make any sense. I, I tr- tried the upper, lower thing. It just didn't work Speaking, for me. Especially for someone your size and your training yeah. age, right? Like, you would, you would like, augment a lot of muscle damage. Yeah. And a lot, like, a lot of stress. Mm. You know what I mean? So, you need longer to recover. Yeah, I need longer time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I was just fucking getting too injured and it was just, I don't like, like training legs much, so. But I you don't have to, like, do you don't barely train, do, what do you do for legs now then? Me, oh, well, my, because uh, I've got a knee injury now, I don't really train them as hard as I used to. I just sort of do, like, once again, basic shit, do squats, uh, stiff, legged, um, and then a few isolations just to finish it up, and it's fucking basic. Absolutely. And that's it? Yeah. See? Basic stuff. Basic stuff. You got anything else to add to that? No. Nah. nah, that's it. What about, you sort of touched on it, nutrition tips for the beginner? Nutrition tips for the beginner. Eat <sighs> McDonald's. Well, it depends if you're trying to put on or if you're trying to drop weight. Um, go, go the beginner looking to pack on size. Because that's the biggest big. mistake I make. I actually think that I see a lot more shredded people who can't put on any muscle Right, like a lot more very shredded kids, like 50, 60 kilos, who just can't put any, I can't, you know. Yeah, well, Remember, I started at 54 kilos. Yeah. And everyone was like, you're an ectomorph, you're never going to gain any muscle, you're stuffed for the rest of your life. No. And they were right. No, I'm joking. No. All that ecto, oh, ecto that's shit, a that's a bullshit. Shit. Um, nah, for s- someone that's like struggling to put on weight, you, you kind of have to put it behind you that you're going to get a bit chubby you can't really yeah that. I had to like, do that that was something for me yeah. because I was always like I'm just going to have abs 24-7 no you, but no, you, like, you like some people can they're very lucky if you want to take 12 years to fucking get to where you want to be <laughs> yes you can do it without getting a bit chubby but me personally I chucked on 20 kilo in 
I don't know, six, I oh, know, not six months, maybe fucking. Jesus like, Christ. I don't know. Over my period, I've ch- 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 chucked on probably 20 kilos of Yeah, so, like so yeah, you're 70 to 90, yeah. pretty much, like yeah. lean. Yeah. And I'm 50 to, I don't want to say 80, I couldn't have chucked on 30 kilos. You weren't 50 kilos. I was 54 kilos, swear to God. Fuck. I That's swear funny. to God, I was 54 kilos. Yeah. So, I'll, look, I reckon at the, at the exact same body fat. No, I'm, I probably chucked on like 25, 30 kilos. Yeah. But, but you know what? I reckon I reckon I was meant... Like, I, I reckon I was so skinny and so deprived because I was like a little but bit you, yeah. messed up in the head. A bit messed up. I was a bit orthorexic. <laughs> That's the word for it. Um, how good are these to play with? We're going to get off track. That, that, that I sort of should have been about 60. Yeah. And then my body was like, holy shit, are you feeding me and like lifting weights? Whoa, like let's all just, yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It's a bit like muscle memory, but yeah. not because I had no muscle memory. Yeah, no muscle memory. Do remember. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's a really, really interesting phenomenon and that's something that would warrant some scientific research. Mm. <laughs> I won't even close up, I can't be bothered. Um, so, what were your tips then? Just tips? Uh, yeah, well, like I said, you can't be a... F- Afraid to get a bit chubby. chubby. Um, I don't want to say like can you cut it because some people fucking hate that. But you don't have to. To be honest, it's 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 a pretty good way to do it. Only way that you know you are eating. And for for dieting, that's a that's good. Yeah. Because I think sometimes I always tell people like you don't have to count calories, but it's a very good tool to use for me as a trainer. Yeah. And for you as the client to know how much you're actually eating and how much you need to eat. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And you kind of need that. You need that. You need that objective enough. data. Like yeah. I need it. Yeah, it's better for me. Me too. You know, I don't need it, yeah. but it's better. Yeah. You know, like I'm at, like it, someone comes to me like I'm not losing weight anymore. I'm like, what are you eating? If they're eating a substantial amount, I can just cut some stuff out without actually counting calories. Yeah. But they come to me like I'm only eating so and so, and it works out to like fifteen hundred calories. One, it's probably not fifteen hundred calories because people underestimate their food like half, like fifty yeah. percent. Like there is studies like thirty, 30 to fifty percent. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Don't but 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 it's. It's yeah. a pretty substantial amount. But, like, that misreporting can really confound the data. And then I have to go off this this this, this pseudo 1,500-calorie diet and then hope to God that they're not lying to me. But if they are, like, I'll, I'll put them on quite a deficit. Yeah. Most of the time, if someone's really good at tracking food and they come to me with... Oh, my God, I thought it was a wasp. I was about to call it. <laughs> um, like, uh, like, most of the time, if someone's real good at tracking and they come to me and they're like... Um, like, this is what I've got, and I'm only eating so-and-so, I'm, I would be like, have a break. Yeah. Because that's it's low, and how much lower can you really go? We're not sure. Dieting isn't about getting lower. It's not limbo. No. You know, is that the thing, limbo? Were you... <laughs> Just in limbo, like this? No, what's that, <laughs> what's that game? You know that game where there's like the stick, and you have to go under it? Lim- limbo. It is limbo. Limbo? That's fucked. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, like... shit at that. We used to play the rollerblading ring. Yeah. Like, real bad. I used to like... Rollerblade through it. It was like, ooh, boo. <laughs> and I'm like, Fuck I'm a rebel. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon? This might be a bit controversial. Contra- how do you, well, controversial. Controversial. Oh, you've got to be. It's all going off. It's going off. It's going off. Um, what do you think the state of personal training is currently? Ooh. As, a, as someone... Ooh. Well, maybe you have to be a bit careful. Like, but as someone who... Looks from the outside in because you're not a personal trainer. Okay, look, I'm not a personal trainer, but <laughs> just what based on my knowledge, I can see that I don't want to use the word, but a lot of personal trainers are undereducated. They yeah, right. That's they cool. They don't know enough to be um, sort of in the hands of people's health. I don't think. No, I agree. Good. They should be able to. Train people I don't think you need a. I don't think you like need that. a degree. You don't need a degree. No. It's arguable, questionable, but you do need to. You can't do some. I mean, you can do whatever you like according to the government and whatever that we're, we're in. Mm. But you, you like. I think an increase in education would be a, a good a good idea because you can't walk away with a six week course and say that. I don't you think can. a lot of them are six weeks anymore, though. That's the thing. Like, I hope they're not. It's a, it's a, it depends how long it takes you to finish the course. So, if you're someone like me and you, you can finish really? it in six, in six... Well, like an online course. one? Yeah. Oh, so I you just take like whoever you want? Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty ridiculous. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I, I don't know. I, this is what I reckon. Like, I know trainers without degrees who whoop my ass. 
Like they'll they like it will, it will be the equivalent of like the Hulk beating up Loki at the end of the Avengers. Like, da, da, yeah. Right? Like you kick it would be, you know. But these trainers are very well educated, have read more text than I have, like textbook university textbooks, you know. They do courses all the time. They attend seminars all the time. Mm. They listen to podcasts. Podca- what the? F- podcasts. The podcasts like mine, very informative. Not really. <laughs> Those are the better ones than this all the time. Yeah. And they're always educating themselves. I think maybe, maybe, oh, I don't know. I would not know where to start with how. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make degrees compulsory. That would not be something I would do. I would you know, also but, just restrict the amount of access that some personal trainers have to clients like they shouldn't be uh, like able to train people that are say had injuries or had a I think we can or something like that they shouldn't be allowed to work with people like that pretty sure we can't because there are personal trainers out there that aren't uh like but actually you need you need to act like physios I cannot stand that shit We are no like we just like even if because I do certain courses that give me a sort of understanding of what I would do in the case of an injury. Yeah. However, like I still turn it away. Yeah. Because I'm I'll do post rehab. Like after you've been rehabbed, yeah. that's cool. You've been cleared by a doctor. You got a medical certificate from your physio, or not from your physio, but from your GP. And your physio is giving you the good to go. And I'm working with the physio, uh, and we're working together yeah. for the best outcome you can. That's good for me. Yeah. But I'm not going to get someone in who's injured and try to fix the dysfunction or some bullshit like that. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. And then, like, I'm not going to go ahead and fix things anyway because you can know see both someone to believing there's something wrong when there probably isn't something yeah. wrong. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you have to consider, like, how, as an authority figure, like, our, our language and our authority over somebody, like, it's quite believable for these people. Mm. Exactly. And because of that belief and perception, like, that can drive... That can drive dysfunction and pain. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't really, I don't really go down that path. Yeah. You know, like I get people strong, jacked, big. I make them move better, feel better. You know, I get, I lo- help them lose fat. Yeah. Build muscle. Yeah. I do some very general stuff, like what the fitness professional probably should be doing. Yeah. But when it comes to like pain and doing all this functional whatever, it just. And also, they shouldn't be. T- t- touching on nutrition at all, unless you have some at kind all. Of at all, like not even like general recommendations. Because there's for someone like yourself who's, who's who actually has some kind of qualification. Yeah. I would say yes, but not for s- someone who's not even like the you know eat six to seven serves of vegetables a day. Like that's all right for a personal trainer to yeah, say that. Like how many are actually doing s- that? Yeah, yeah, I know. That. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's, it's a funny industry, like it's not very like regulated, like you can pretty much do whatever you like. And you know like nutrition, like you don't really need a degree. Like no. that's the thing. You don't, you don't need one. Don't. Like anyone does this weekend course and becomes some like multi-level marketing friggin' nutrition guru yeah. and they spat all the other. I actually had a uh, 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 family friend who got into this sort of multi-level marketing stuff and they said, can you please like analyze these products for me? Because I sort of want to know like where I am and where I stand. And I actually said, like, are you sure? Yeah. Because, uh, like, I'm not a fan of this certain product, which I'm not going to mention. Yeah. Um, and, and I was, like, but I wanted that bias get me in the way. Like, I'll literally, like, just go to the research. And, again, I checked out examine.com. Yeah. And I'll have a look. I won't look at the product itself. I'll look at the ingredients because that's what's important. Mm. And you know what? Like, it did, you know what? The, the sad thing is it didn't shock me. Like, I went through the ingredients list. And guess what? Like it was, it was, this, it was non-descriptive. It was like proprietary blend and all this stuff. And I'm like, Jesus Christ! Like you get, Whole bunch of what? Shit. What the hell is that? Like yeah. I don't even know how that gets by. I don't understand. Like if I'm going to take something, I want to know, yeah. especially when it's something like that. Like I want to know what's in it. You know what I mean? Like that's, yeah. I don't know. That's that's unethical. That's like me going. Um, oh, I'm going to do a program today. I'm going to put a blindfold on you. We're going to hope for the best, <laughs> and then be like, let's do some deadlifts. Exactly. And like, oh, Fuck. you know, that's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Agree? I agree. Good. That's it. Yep. Because that's why I got you on here. So you can just make me look like I'm smart. <laughs> no shit. Do you have anything else to add? Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't know. Don't ask me about fucking my <laughs> Don't ask me about fucking how often I train. I don't know. Fuck. Don't ask me about it. Because right. that's, all, that's all I get asked. It's, a, it's, very, <laughs> it's very common. All, bro, what but you, you know what I don't get? Why do people ask you what you do? 
Yeah. Because the, I got you on here as the example of just because you do it doesn't yeah, mean it's going to work for everybody yeah, else. Exactly right. You know what I mean? And the principles can be applied to other people. Yeah. But your program is not for somebody else. Yeah. Will it work? Probably because like it's pretty hard not to react to a stimulus. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. But could they be doing something else that would be better for them? Yeah, exactly. With reference to how much they can actually recover from and still progress and stuff like that, like the MRV. And, Correct. And we won't get into that. But and like, to be honest, like I wouldn't necessarily suggest my routine for someone that's only just beginning because yeah. it's probably a bit advanced. We did the worst routine to start with. I wish we never did that. Yeah. That was awful. The freaking bro split. Bro split. Off the oh, website. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah, that but, was but, but that was awful. Like I was super set and... We, did you do it with me? Yeah, I was doing it with we you. We did a, a, a Romanian deadlift superset yeah. with curl leg curls. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember Or did that. you do that with me or did I do it? I don't and you thought I've done that with you. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I could do a Romanian deadlift properly. Like, I could probably do it like lumbar flexion, like flex back and like yeah. screw I only myself up. remember when we were doing like the fucking five-day split. We did arms on Get the around Get the five-day five split. Whole day for arms. I could make the case for that, but... Yeah. It have to, it have to, it would have to be smart, like well done. Yeah. It would pretty much be like a push day, with like pull ups, like because like the the close grip bench press would be the main lift, yeah. and then like 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 a, a pull up with a supinated grip, just because it's gonna hit, it's gonna be a, like you got some, you got a little bit more elbow flexion there. Yeah. So I'd argue that you could do the biceps a bit better, right? Mm. That would be the main lifts, and yeah. you do some arms, and that could just be like another upper body day, but it'd be like an arm focused body day. Yeah, that's true. Arm focused upper body day. But that's not what we were doing. What's that? We, we weren't doing No, 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 no. We were coming in and the main lift was straight bar, bar, bicycle. <laughs> yeah. Which is really stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like what, and that would take us 45 minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah, we were doing that shit. That's so... Oh. And we were on keto as well. No. Yeah, do you remember keto? Yeah. Oh. And back then, and now keto is so popular. Oh. I actually had someone today go, what do you think of the keto diet? And, and now that I'm here, like it actually does work superior for fat loss short term. But we're not about short term. No. We're not you know what I mean? And um, when you match protein and calories, it's the same. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather eat like everything and still lose fat? It might take you like a couple more weeks, but at least you did it and you stuck to it. Yeah. What's the point of doing something for like, how, you know how long, how long we do that for like 10 days? I remember. We we're eating like beef long. patties and shit. We couldn't do it. I couldn't I, poo. I couldn't do it. Couldn't poo. <laughs> Fucked up. And you know what people don't realize? Like, I didn't even think that was a keto diet. Like we did not, keto is like actually like moderate low protein. Because mm. you have too much protein, like it, it bumps you out of keto, it bumps you out of ketosis. Yeah? Yeah. Because the protein converts to like glucose, yeah, gluconeogenesis. Like, yeah, exactly. So we weren't even doing keto. We were just doing some dumb shit, some low shit. carb, high protein, high fat diet. Yeah, what the we fuck started, is that? Yeah. Do you have closing thoughts, comments? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say about it? I don't, I don't know. know. Fuck. Go nuts. Uh, I, I, make I, I suppose I probably wouldn't, well, maybe. I wouldn't know what I know t- 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 today or I probably wouldn't have uh, be as big as I am t- 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 today without Mick. So, what? Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Holy right. shit. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's all right, man. That's loose. I really appreciate it. That's all right. And uh, that's it. I guess you'd say I don't think I'd be where I am without the support of Brendan. We having a brain moment. But really, that's brain true moment. though. Yeah. You know, yeah. I went through some dark times. He was there. Yeah. All right, we're gonna end it. Thank you very much, guys. Speak to you in the next one. Cheers for now. Cheers. <laughs>